Climate change continues to make its mark in Africa, disrupting weather patterns and in some cases making them more extreme. The Horn of Africa is facing the threat of a fifth consecutive failed rainy season, and that's brought with it frequent devastating droughts. But a solution could be much closer than many realize. It turns out that beneath the region's dry plains, there's an increasing amount of groundwater, enough to make droughts a thing of the past. It's the worst drought in 40 years here in Somalia. Makeshift camps like this one near the town of Baidoa have sprung up en masse as hundreds of thousands of people have been forced to flee bone-dry conditions. Many are herders whose lifeline is their animals. They totally depend on regular rainfalls. Many of the people coming here are pastoralists. I think it's becoming very difficult for people to sustain the lifestyle because of the rain change. Droughts in the Horn of Africa are becoming more frequent and more devastating with time. People in this already water-scarce region can no longer rely on the long rains between March and May and the short rains between October and December. Whilst livestock succumb, and more than 37 million people in the Horn of Africa are facing acute hunger, people might be sitting on top of their lifesaver. Huge amounts of groundwater. Scientists found that most countries in Africa would actually have enough underground water supply for more than 50 years. Plus, the study shows this water storage is even increasing, despite the poor rainy seasons. This is because of the now more common heavy rain showers. They can most effectively refill the water stored in the ground. To become groundwater, rainfall needs to be intense enough for the water to quickly infiltrate the soil. These short but heavy downpours fill up dry riverbeds. The water then seeps into underground deposits. These findings are extremely exciting, says the agroeconomist Alaric Sandrup, who has had years of experience working in Africa. There's a great opportunity and a huge untapped potential. If you can access that, you can increase yields in a fairly short time by 100 to maybe even 400 percent. So there's a very big potential to increase production in Africa. The World Bank has allocated money to explore this and the private sector is already drilling in some places. If tapped into on a large scale, groundwater could be a game changer for the continent's most vulnerable regions. So we see the growing interest in exploring what's below the ground in the Horn of Africa with some groundwater drilling already underway. So what's the actual process? Well, the depth varies depending on the soil composition and water quality, but some of this groundwater has been found around two to 5,000 meters below ground. And on average, it takes up to a few weeks of digging to reach these water deposits. Let's speak now to Michael Singer, who's a professor in physical geography at Cardiff University in the UK, and is one of the authors of the study. Thank you for joining us, Professor. Now, these findings seem extraordinary. How big an impact can this have uh, in, for example, the Horn of Africa? Yeah, well, it's hard to know, um, but we're excited about the prospect. Um, this is a region that has faced consecutive drought seasons, so multiple seasons. At this point, they're projected to have a sixth in a row failed rainy season. And this is an ongoing trend where the region's just getting drier and drier um, season by season. And so we expected that maybe that's having an impact on the hydrology and the water resources of the region. Um, but we were surprised in our analysis to find that actually there seems to be increasing water storage alongside of that declining rainfall trend, which was a bit puzzling. How, do, how did you actually discover the presence of these massive water reserves? Yeah, so we did an analysis where we looked at rainfall data first to try to see what the trends in rainfall are saying. And certainly those were largely showing a decline in rainfall um, over, the to uh, over the entire season of rainfall. But um, we also found that extreme rainfall seemed to be increasing over time. 
which suggested that maybe there's something else going on that we need to study further. Um, so then we looked into some satellite data. There are two satellites um, roaming around the Earth that are keeping track of the gravitational field. Um, and we were able to use that satellite to interpret that there is a rising amount of water storage underground um, that seems to be significantly related to the extreme rainfall trends that we found. Right. So, so uh, could it be that there have been misconceptions about the existing supply of groundwater? Yes, I don't think, generally speaking, groundwater is not a massively used resource within the region because it requires a large amount of investment, which just really hasn't happened across the drylands of the Horn of Africa um, compared to places like India, where there's been a huge investment in groundwater and, in fact, overuse. Um, so they're, they're really kind of only localized groundwater wells that are be being used for, um, for water supply primarily. So, so in this case, then, are you saying that, uh, or do you know how much, or how easy it would be to access this water? Does it need just basic boreholes or sort of massive investment in proper extraction? Um, I can't say for sure because the satellite data doesn't tell us that specific information. But what we do know is that after there are big uh, rainfall events, um, if you go down to river channels, the water is only a couple of meters below ground and there's a significant supply of it. And this concept is not lost on uh, rural communities who often travel to the river channels and dig wells um, temporarily just to access water, fill up jerry cans and take it back to their villages. So presumably there is a, shallow, a relatively shallow source of groundwater, especially around river channels, but um, groundwater is, is a very challenging problem and there's a lot of spatial variability in the depth of the groundwater. And on that note, if we were to dig for this groundwater, would it be a straightforward process replenishing these supplies? Well, it appears that they're getting replenished um, naturally. Um, through various processes. And that the main thing is um, when it rains really heavily, when you have these extreme rainfall events, the water can actually penetrate deep through the soil below the zone where it might be lost back through evaporation into the atmosphere. So you're basically banking that water below ground. Um, and the other thing that happens is that water tends to run off of dry landscapes down into river channels where it seeps into the riverbed and again is is banked below the zone of evaporation. So um, I suspect what what that process will continue to occur as long as the the rainfall extremes continue to occur, even if we start using the groundwater resource. Okay, we'll be looking forward to seeing what this can achieve. Michael Singer, professor in physical geography from Cardiff University. Many thanks for speaking to us. Thank you.